All right, let's evaluate this definite integral where we have the square root of 2x plus 5 evaluated between 0 and 1 for our bounds of integration. So on this one, we have a function inside of another function. That's indicating that we're going to need to use um, u substitution. So let's let u equal the inner function, the 2x plus 5, because that's all underneath the square root. Next up, we're going to want to take the derivative of each side here. So we get 1, and we put a du on this side. Derivative of u is just 1. And then on the right-hand side, we get 2, and we put a dx on this side. So as we look at our original problem, all of this underneath is going to get replaced with a u. And then we have a dx. That's going to get replaced as well. Um, the bottom equation here with the dx, I'd like that just to be 1 dx, however, because right now it has 2 dx's. So let's rearrange this equation by moving the 2 to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2 or multiply both sides by 1 half. So we get 1 dx on this side. Next up, let's work on actually substituting in. So as we substitute in here, we've got our integral symbol. We're going to adjust our bounds of integration to be in terms of u in just a second. And then underneath here, we can put a u in that spot. That replaces the 2x plus 5. And then we have 1 half du needs to replace in the dx. I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 half out in front because constants can be moved out in front. And then the du also goes in here. All right, now let's go ahead and adjust our bounds of integration. Because 0 and 1, those were x values because the original function had x's. Instead, we want to make those in terms of u. So what we'll do is use our let statement and say a u value that corresponds with a 1 is when you plug in an x value of 1 for x. So that's 2 plus 5 makes 7. So our upper bound is going to be 7. And then a u value that corresponds with an x value of 0 is when you plug in a 0. Sorry, that should be added. So 0 plus 5 is going to be 5. So our lower bound is going to be 5. All right, next up, let's think about rewriting this so that you can see that u to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of u. All right, this will allow us to simply use the power rule to help find our antiderivative. So I'll bring the 1 half along. Then we have u, and we're going to increase the exponent by 1. So 1 half plus 1, or 1 half plus 2 over 2, makes 3 halves for our new exponent. Next, we're going to divide by our new exponent, or that's equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of a fraction. So multiplying by 2 over 3 is equivalent to dividing by 3 halves. We also want to include a, oops, we don't need to include a plus c at the end. What we want to include in this situation is our evaluating this from 5 to 7, which works out to be, we can do a little bit of simplifying down with our fractions there, that the 2s can cancel out. Um, basically, we would get 2 6, or that's equivalent to 1 third u to the 3 halves, evaluated from 5 to 7. To finish this up, we want to actually do the evaluating. So to do so, I'm going to go ahead and say 1 third, and then we plug in the 7 raised to the 3 halves power, and we subtract away. Again, I'm bringing the 1 third along. We substitute in our 5 for u raised to the 3 halves power. Now, it was okay to plug in straight for u because these are u values for our bounds of integration. This is not going to simplify down nicely, um, but we could get an approximation. It works out to be approximately 2.4466. Um, hope this helps out as you're working on integrating um, definite integrals and using u substitution to accomplish these goals. Good luck.